So Ford Rangers at the moment seem to be the pickup of choice and I can see why, to be honest. They generally appeal to a lot of people. This particular one is a 23 plate done just under 6,000 miles. It isn't VAT qualifying, which is perfect. So if you aren't a VAT registered company or you want to use it as a personal vehicle, you have no VAT to worry about. The reason I like these so much is one, the way they look. Two, they've got the performance capabilities if you do want a tow, etc. But the style of these for me is just unmatched when it comes to a pickup. I personally have no need to drive a pickup, but I would definitely own and drive one of these. Finished in frozen white, which gives it that real modern look. And you've got this titanium grey contrasting on the grill. You've got those lovely bright C shaped LED headlights, front and rear sensors. You've also got a rear view camera when we jump in. This one's got some really nice options on it. The first one that your eye will catch is the upgraded alloy wheels there, 20 inch alloy wheels. Multi-contrast, so you've got the black the, the, with the chrome around the edge and just give it that real stylish look to it. Black accents, this is a two litre diesel, but it is a bi-turbo and those titanium finishes just go all the way throughout. Fixed side steps, so when I mentioned it could be a family vehicle, I could definitely use this for the kids, no problem. Wild track gives it that nice orange stitching, those are leather seats as well. Plenty of space in the back of there. If you are going to use it for the workforce as well, if you do have some slightly bigger people, you can get them in, no problem. Then we get to the back of this one, you've even got side steps when it comes to the rear. So four wheel drive, just in case I didn't mention that. But you've got some really nice bits on this one. You've got a electric shutter, powered from the key. It's also bed lined. So again, as much as I said there isn't any VAT, if you aren't a battery company, this car or pickup, sorry, will go to work straight away for you. So it's all ready to go, huge savings of costs, because they aren't cheap from Ford. You're talking in the thousands to get those done. One thing I didn't mention is the tow bar. So again, if you're going to use it for a trailer, a caravan, a horse box, whatever it might be, we had an instance this week, even here, where we were discussing could we fit something in a van, we just took the Ford Ranger, straightforward, easy to do, even if it's furniture, whatever it is you're moving around in your life, you can do it, no problem. Then this, to me, is where this, it separates themselves, because usually when you're driving a pickup, they're very agricultural, they're not very nice to look at, not very nice to drive, but this, for me, has got one of the nicest cabins physically on the market. You've got that huge tablet display. This one has a tech pack, giving it some nice features as well, which we'll touch on. Those seats are electric, so gone are the days that you're just using a manually sliding seat. You've also got some heated features as well, being the seat and the steering wheel, which I've owned several cars in the past and some have neither. This has it. Mileage, like I said, just under 6,000, so ex-demo level of, of age, and you've obviously got the, the, the warranty remaining as well. Four-wheel drive capabilities, you can do the different drive modes if you want to. This is a pickup truck and it can physically do it. There's plenty of spaces, you've got couple of glove boxes, not just one, so if you want to keep one for paperwork or one for personal stuff, you can do that. All the wild track badging all the way throughout, the inlays, that lovely display which I've mentioned. Your heated seats and your heated steering wheel are all controlled from the screen, so instead of having a dash full of buttons, it's just that one big tablet screen. The reversing camera I mentioned also gives you a front and rear visual aid as well, very clear size of that screen. It's far better than what you see in a lot of cars, to be honest. That display as well will show everything from your Apple CarPlay, the Android equivalent, your sat-nav, everything like that all comes up. It's just a dead clean, clear display and as far as clean is concerned, this is a very clean vehicle. You've got adaptive cruise control, which is a good one as well. Again, I've had cars that don't have that on in the past and this has it. Really clean, no signs of anything on it, which you would expect. You've got a couple of different spaces and modes up there as well. Um, not too sure why you just told me that, so I'm going to go back to it. So there's two packs, isn't there? Yeah, yeah go on. Power pack, yeah. wireless charging. Yeah, go on, yeah. You've got your additional switches. So if you want the headlights and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, go on. Yep. So alongside the tech pack, it's also got the power pack. So you've got wireless phone charging just down here, so it has that capability. And then you've also got several different power outputs you can put up here. Examples I can think of if you wanted pod lights or a light on the roof or anything like that. Like I say, these are a commercial, so there will be different usabilities that you can put on them, and that's already built in for you. Again, another cost saved. But the main benefit to this one is one, it is here and ready to go. I know if you go in a Ford dealership and try and find one, one, you'll be paying more, but two, you'll have to wait a while to get one. This is here in a right colour, right spec with some nice options on it. No VAT, so you don't need to worry about that. And it's available ready to go. So if you're interested, contact myself. My name's Paddy and the number's below.